What is going on everybody, it's Nothing But Skills here, and today we're going to be talking about a game I have been dying to talk about, but we really didn't know too much about the game, except that it was a third person, free to play shooter. But now that we've gotten to see more gameplay that was released today on the IGN YouTube page, they gave us 15 minutes of gameplay, we were able to actually look at the gameplay, find out some really cool features that this game has that we didn't know before. So if you haven't heard about this game, well, sit back, relax, grab the popcorn, and let's talk about it a little bit. So my initial impressions about this game are that it has a Rainbow Six type feel, but it's third person, right? It has a CSGO type feel because it has a buy menu you'll see in a few. And then it has classes, so it gives you that Apex Legend type feel, right? So certain classes have certain abilities, certain weapons. So there's always something for you to master. So let's talk about the first thing we know, all platforms. Yes, this is coming to every single platform from PlayStation 4 to Xbox One, PC, and the Nintendo Switch. So it will be on every single platform at launch. So everybody will have access to this game, which is amazing because a lot of times you have staggered releases, right? So you'll have PlayStation might get it first or PlayStation Xbox get it first or PC gets it first, then console gets it first, then Switch last. But what they're doing is they want this to go from alpha to beta for everybody. The next thing we're gonna talk about is the buy menu. Yes, there is a buy menu and you might've seen something like this in what? Counter-Strike Go. So you have the option to buy two primaries, you have a secondary, you have a melee weapon, and then you have gadgets. One is a regular grenade, one is an EMP grenade, and then there is a total of six perks on this buy menu. One thing I did notice is that different characters did have different perks. So I'm assuming each class may have different perks tied to them, but we don't know enough about that because they haven't gave us a more detailed look at all the perks. The next thing we're gonna get into is upgrades, yes. After you purchase an item, you can still upgrade them. And it looks like you can upgrade them up to three times at a cost. For the weapon alone, upgrade one would increase the magazine size. Upgrade two would increase the hit fire accuracy. And upgrade three will increase the damage range. Now, I know the next question a lot of you guys are going to ask are, what about perks in the buy menu? What do those do? So we were only able to see six of them, but let's take a closer look at those. So the first perk we're going to talk about is Shredder Rounds. Now this is going to allow you to deal more damage to equipment but also carry more ammunition at a cost of $4,000. The perks just get better. Check out this one, Berserker. Gain the ability to reload while sprinting. Who doesn't want to be able to reload while sprinting in a third person fast paced shooter? I know I will. They have another perk called Nimble Hands, which you might recognize as something that you might see in other games as Fast Hands. Increase weapon swap and reload speed. The next perk we got a closer look out is Bounce Back. Costs around 6,500 and it's gonna reduce that health regeneration delay. Now later on in the gameplay, he ends up selecting a different character, which actually has six perks, just like the other character, but it has three new ones that we didn't see, like this one, Tenacity take reduced damage from explosives. Now with that, you can imagine with having more classes, there most likely are a lot more perks that we weren't able to see just yet. So this is exciting. So now that we know that rogues have different classes, how many rogues do you get to select from? Well, this gameplay says alpha footage and there's currently 12 rogues you can select from with six slots under, assuming that they most likely will continue to add rogues as the game continues to grow I'm sure starting off with just 12 rogues will be perfectly fine. Now remember, each rogue does have its own class, its own play style, their own weapons. So that is something for you to figure out as you get used to playing each one. So what about game modes, you guys asked? Well, according to roguecompany.com, the official website for this game, there is going to be various PvP game modes and locations. We actually got to take a look at a game mode they're calling Demolition, which kind of looks like search and destroy, correct? You have one team attacking, one team defending, you swap sides, so you'll have a chance of playing offense and defense, and the first team to six takes home the victory. Now, if you're a big third person shooter fan, movement is always your number one concern, because a lot of times you could have a great game, but the movement could be so bad that you're not enjoying it. Lucky enough, in this gameplay, we were able to see hit fire, aiming down the sights, walking, sprinting, crouching, everything you want to see in a gameplay video for a third person shooter. And one thing we need to keep in mind is this is still alpha footage. So a lot of the movement can be tweaked 
If there's something that you don't enjoy during the beta, you can voice your concerns. But when the beta does go live, that will be something for you to talk about. Because obviously, if movement is an issue, you're not gonna have fun. So let them know. Now, even though this is a one life game mode, there are revives, yes. And there is even a class that we're gonna take a look at that seems to put use his, his special and he's able to put a drone over him and it starts to revive. If you look closely at the bottom right, he's reviving his teammate, his teammate's up and back in the fight. So did you know that this game will run at 60 frames per second on whatever platform you choose to play? Now, I'm not sure if PC will play at a higher frame per second, but that's amazing for console because games right now don't even play at 60 frames per second. So for them to come out and say that this game will play at 60 frames per second on console is going to be amazing. And what game isn't better with emotes? Who doesn't like dancing on your enemy's body? But I'm really excited for this game. I hope you guys are excited for this game. I've been looking for a third person shooter to fill that void in my heart for PVP. And I think this could be it. We'll see once they launch the beta, which I think can't be too far away with IGN releasing alpha footage. If they're releasing alpha footage, that means they're, they're one step closer to launching the beta. And when they do launch the beta, I'll be right there. So before we wrap this up, I do want to know, what do you guys think about this? Do you think this is a game that you'll be interested in? There's still so much to learn. We don't know fully about all the classes, the weapons, the game modes they have to offer. But I'm sure in time, we will find out more information. I'm excited. I hope you guys are. But let's wrap it up here. I'll see you in the next one. Nothing But Skills is out.